Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. And you join me with the Carthaginian Cavalry at Tier 7. So, a um, little bit of a different video today, perhaps, well, maybe slightly. Um, we're going to be looking at sort of, uh, basically, just a bit of a talk through and a live battle with these Tier 7s. So, previously, the Tiers uh, 5 and 6, the, which was the, the Tribal Cavalry and uh, sort of the professional Tier 6 Carthaginian Cavalry, I really quite enjoyed. I found them to be quite decent cavalry, perfectly all round, um, sort of pretty average at everything, but quite good average at everything. And then, uh, really, a, a Tier 7 with these guys, um, while I'm not fully upgraded yet, you know, I've still got uh, the slight speed boost from the Greaves and a little bit more armour to go on. Um, really not enjoying them very much. Uh, I, I'm just really struggling to be very good with them in, in any battle. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is. I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong. But I'm just finding them to be pretty average in a bad way. <laughs> They're just not really very good at anything. It's not, not not like the previous tiers which were quite good at everything. They just seem to have a pretty poor charge. They're not particularly good in combat. And they've not really got that much armour or anything like that. They just, as a general rule, seem to let me down. Um, I also find that Hasdrubal, uh, I like his flying column. Great tier 1 ability. Um, I love the fact that it's uh, a really, really quick cooldown on the charge. And while it's a little bit short, the charge, it's absolutely fine and I like it. Deep Pockets, for me, I think is very situational and, and pretty hard to use effectively. So I don't really get on very well with that. I don't really use it very often. Maybe that's perhaps part of my error. But I just find that the buffers that it gives are just quite negligible and not really worthwhile. So, yeah. Um, and then bribe, bribe's nice. Um, you know the minus fifty two percent melee attack. Although that will get more once I've got uh, Hannibal uh, Hasdrubal further upgraded. Um, and the melee weapon damage is nice. I do like that. Um, but you know it's got a short duration, twenty seconds. And you know against a lot of units, that's, you know it's nice for a little bit, but it often isn't all that effective. Not compared to some of the other tier five uh, sort of ultimate commander abilities that they have available to them. But anyway, enough of my whinging and moaning, <laughs> let's hop into a game and see how badly we get on. So, we are loading into the Battle of Thermopylae. It looks like we've actually got pretty decent matchmaking, which is nice. Nice not to be against Tier 8. Um, a check. Well, at least not on our team. Hopefully the enemy team doesn't have them. Um, before we get started, one thing I always keep wanting to try and remember to mention every video is join the Discord. Um, yeah, we've set up a Discord over the last couple of days. So, yeah, join the Discord. Um, it's easier if you submit replays to the Discord, that sort of thing. And it's quite good to have a chat with us all. And I can get responses much easier than I can on YouTube. So, yes, join the Discord. Uh, but enough of that, what are we going to do this battle? Uh, I'm just going to spawn roughly somewhere here in the centre, I think, to start with. Um, I just see sort of what opportunities present ourselves. Uh, I just want to try and be a little bit careful because I think that's probably... A kind of a bit of an error I have with these guys. Maybe I'm just used to playing the Roman Cavalry, which I played a lot during closed beta, which right, you could really charge with quite aggressive, get stuck into situations and really do quite well. These guys really can't. Um, you know, if you get yourself in trouble, you know, they're not quick to get out like the Barbarians, and they don't really have uh, much in the way of sort of fighting ability um, uh, to actually, you know, stick stick out and fight the way out like the Romans can. They have no Oath of Perseverance or anything like that. So, yeah. So we've got to be a bit careful. But we're just going up to get some spots. Bit of enemy cavalry. No point sticking around too long. We've got some artillery on our team. Just got to be a little bit careful for enemy artillery. Just keeping an eye on the horizon to make sure there's no stones flinging their way towards us. Because if there were, I'll have a rapid change of direction. Um, but it looks like we're okay for now. Hopefully the artillery is supposedly being nerfed in the upcoming 3.1 patch. I think the number of stones it gets to throw is being reduced, which is only can only be a good thing. What's that down there? Gungadir charges. Well, I mean, I'd certainly have them if I could. Getting to them might be hard, though. Okay, so let's have a little look at these guys, then. Um, they're looking to perhaps flank these archers here. Let's try and warn them about these guys. If they're going to go down that passage, that will give us an opportunity. Let's just form straight and use our quick charge to gain a bit of ground. Remember, we have got two charges with these guys. They've realised the trap. I'm going to try and corner them off down here. They could conceivably turn on us. Um, and they have got to get past that back, past that elephant. But they can do that probably without too much trouble. Try and hide. Make them think I'm still coming around. And then we're going to come around, activate our charge. Okay, good, 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 good. That is sort of what we wanted. So, let's use our um, 
uh, whatever it's called, bribe to immediately reduce their attack damage. They're trying to force their way through us, which I shouldn't think is going to work too well for them. They've now turned on our fighting as they try to push their way through that unit to try and escape, but pushing the way through a centre of an enemy unit is, um, you know, really not going to help them. <laughs> so we'll fight this last one here. So that panned out not too badly. Which was good. <laughs> but then we are fighting a lower tier unit. And you know, what can we you know we can't necessarily expect too much. Our archers are getting some shots up there, but they're being barraged back. So we want to kill these guys and get out of here in case we come into range of those enemy archers up on that ridge over there. Come on guys. Hurry up and die, will you? You're completely out surrounded. Oh, our Minius is dead, and there they go. Okay. So let's get ourselves moving again. So we've basically completely wiped out most of his units. We've got some enemy elephants coming. Uh, to base. We know we've got these enemy archers down here. We've got to be careful of them but they could present a nice opportunity. But I did see some pikes loitering around near them so they could be a problem for us. Uh, what's that over there? Some gladiators. And these equites. We might be able to catch these guys. It's their base speed 713. Hmm. You never know. Uh, yeah, that's the problem with these archers. They're, they're, they're teamed up or are working closely with the uh, the pikes, which makes it a bit hard. So, those Triaria. Oh, Triaria. These are the Tier 7 the Roman Premium units. Very cool. I think they're off sale at the moment. I don't think you can actually get them anymore. So, let's have a look what we've got. We've got these gladiators, which are going to be a problem for us. Um, she's putting me off charging... Uh, into those uh, equites because of the gladiators. Although if those gladiators are going to get stuck into the equites, then I would, I would have a fight. You know, but uh, I don't know if they're going to. These elephants, for some reason, are not fighting the triarii, which again surprising. Um, hmm. Makes things a little bit harder. We could just charge these gladiators. They're only going to fight on their own. I don't know why these triarii aren't turning and fighting. I suppose we need to think about doing something to decap the base. So, yeah, let's. Let's do this. Okay, that wasn't such a bad charge. Let's activate our bribe on them, so their um, uh, aggression damage is greatly reduced. Although they have just activated Vengeance, which is going to give them a, a large, rather large helping hand. So let's get out of here again with what we can. Oh, that's a little bit harder to get out than I thought it was. We took some losses there. Try and keep ourselves free and moving for the base T-cap, because that's probably going to be the biggest problem we face. Hopefully, their vengeance should deactivate shortly. Oh, I'll turn on you. So those equites just, for some reason, left themselves a little bit exposed there, and that was just the opportunity I needed. So we'll just wait for our charge to come back, which it should do shortly. We can probably bribe ourselves give ourselves some <laughs> some money if these guys are going to stay like that and we should still win the charge which we did so let's use our bribe on them again um, mainly make sure that they're not going to be activating vengeance because if they're going to do that then I want to get out uh, once this bribe runs out I'll probably get out of here but for now their melee attack is so low they can't really do any damage to us um, which is the benefit of the uh, bribe, which is kind of why it works out quite nicely. Obviously, we're not doing ideally well fighting these guys, but we obviously have to keep the base cap off. Now our archers are here, it's probably less of a threat to us, so we should probably be going to look uh, to see if I can find any better opportunities to do more damage elsewhere. Let's try and uh, split our formation. Obviously, got to bear in mind they're a tier 6 unit as well, and I'm tier 7, so, you know, obviously we're fighting a, a lower tier unit. What's going on in the center? So, whew, yeah, uh, watch out for those uh, stakes. Just group up briefly to get around them, nice and safely. Uh, the one good thing about this bribe is it's not got a super long cooldown, so it's usable to have both in one turn. I would assume this unit of spearmen is paying attention to me, so I, I don't think they're going to allow me to recharge them. But we'll have a look. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Just go vaguely this way, just in case. And we're about to do a long charge then. Okay. That was very strange. I don't know if we're going to be able to route them or not. 
No, it doesn't look like it. And we're probably going to start taking more damage from them than we can deal to them. Should we be getting out? Should we be getting out? Or do we want to just try and finish them off? No, let's get out. We've got a nice charge on them, but I don't think staying around is going to help us. Obviously, I'm keen to loiter around the base because I want to try and make sure we don't get capped out, which is probably the biggest risk at the moment, particularly as this battle is actually tipping in our favour. I realise I'm blobbing with my units a little bit, but we're fighting in such close quarters combat, there's not really a lot of our choice. Looks like these archers might be driven towards us, which would be perfect. I have a sense an opportunity. Oh, oh, oh. Going for it, going for the charge. Yes, we hit them. That's nice. Okay. Let's try and wrap these guys where we can. Come, don't get caught up on the mercenaries. Kill the archers. That's what we want to get first. They're the biggest threat, particularly being, being tier 8. Uh, let's chase them out. They're trying to run. Uh, let's cut them down. Okay, cool. So we got the archers. Let's try and get out again. Uh, these guys got any vengeance activated? No, it doesn't look like it. So, Oops. I didn't even mean to turn on those spearmen particularly. Let's see if we can get them to wrap quickly, which we did. Um, and then we'll just assist with these gladiators, I guess. Okay, not, not going so badly. Typically, after just saying how much I hate these guys, they're actually playing out quite nicely now. <laughs> maybe just a bit of care and that sort of support role is maybe how they play out a little bit better. So let's keep moving. What else have we got? We've got some pikes and a few light infantry units around there. Um, well, really, they're just easily killed by our friendly archers. So I think we'll be as well starting to move up to look for some other targets. So we've got some high tier pikemen who are going to be hard to do for us to do anything about. But we should go and investigate. So let's get moving down here. Make sure we don't run onto those stakes. Yeah, these guys are obviously um, doomed. <laughs> There's no way they can get out of that. So we'll just get nice into the clear. We'll keep using our flying column as a bit of a boost to our speed. We can also use our second charge to give us a really nice long uh, charge boost. Gain a bit more ground. And um, obviously this takes 60 seconds to recharge, but um, you know we might as well keep it going. So let's get our units moving right across the map. So the only enemy units surviving are these two units of pikes. We're doing a good job of sort of trying to keep the enemy out. Um, yeah, it's quite nice as a travel, this flying column. The only thing I would say is that it's kind of... You have to make sure you're nice and clear in the open. If you're in trees or in friendly units and activate it, some of your units will stop and it can end up being more trouble than it's worth. So you've got to be a bit careful. It's like these pikes are trying to force these veteran legionaries into combat. Which may be good on their part, but more likely it's going to cause them trouble. Ooh, they're in a bit of trouble, but they're being able to pull back. We should be able to get around them nice and quickly, though. This is the power of Cav. Circle around. Oh, that was a terrible charge. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back before we get caught on them, before we get... Oh, there's another one! Oh, oh no! Get out while we can. Oh, they've played that far better than I thought. I didn't realise there was another unit. Okay, let's get out what we can. They're trying to turn with that one to form like a, a wall, so we'll go back around this side. Let's try and get a nice hit into them. Uh, we can activate our uh, bribe on them. Looks like we've got them a little bit trapped here, because if they turn against us, I think these legionaries over here will turn on them. Well, they are beginning to turn slowly around to us, so let's try and get out while we can. The, the, when you're playing against pikes, you have a real tendency to get caught in, in amongst them, I find. Let's try and just wipe out those few. Okay. Yeah, so they can be pretty hard to fight against because they, they can slowly turn around quicker than you can actually uh, you can fight them. Okay, that was a bit better charge right into the middle. Still don't think it's going to be enough to actually get them to wrap. They're going to turn around and face onto us. 
That looks like we're kind of caught in the middle of them. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of this one very easily. I think we're going to get caught up in a lot of these pikes. We can try and get a few people out if we can. As I say, yeah, they really get caught up in amongst the pikes when they get stuck into them and they can't actually escape. <laughs> it's the, the perils of fighting pikemen. But particularly when you don't have that many people left uh, alive as well. There we go, a little bit of a charge through them. Some of the people actually charged so well they got all the way through. Okay, two men left. <laughs> Hasdrubal is dead. Uh, we've had a pretty decent game though. And we are about to cap out the enemy base. Go for the final charge. Oof. Oh well, good bit of damage. Well, they're trying to get in to get the decap, of course. That makes sense. Let's lock a few of them down. Yes, we still get a few bit of damage on them. We'll even bribe our Roman allies, even though they're not even in combat anymore. Cool, can we get another charge in before the end of the game? Oh, not quite. <laughs> okay, well, after my earlier criticisms at the start of this video, I must admit that didn't go quite so badly as it normally does. Um... Yeah, so they're just... I still think they're kind of fairly average. Um, maybe once we get that sort of slight increase in speed and body armour, then maybe they'll get a little bit better. But I think on the whole, they do struggle to excel in anything. Um, and that's why I struggle to enjoy them. But that wasn't such a too bad a game. We've got a decent amount of aggression points there. So I guess maybe just being that little bit more careful, obviously not playing them as Roman cavalry. They don't have that strength or the speed of barbarians. Maybe perhaps just trying to play them more as their own type of unit is maybe where I'm going wrong. Um, so I'm going to keep grinding these, these guys, get the next Greaves and the body armour. I don't think I'm going to bother with the weapon because, well, it'd be nice to have the impact damage, but I find the charges pretty mediocre anyway, so then why we even bother worrying about it? Um, and hopefully the Numidian Cavalry, which is a much more lighter, quicker, barbarian-type cavalry, um, is going to be a bit better at tier 8. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like. Don't forget to join the Discord. The link to it is down in the description below, and I shall see you all on the next episode.